Chapter 3 Genetics Some Basic Fundamentals Introduction Whenever a child is born, the family members usually start comparing his appearance as to whom he or she resembles more. This happens, doesn't this? All this, although a matter of chance, is governed by certain laws. This chapter presents some fundamentals of genetics, including Mendel's law of inheritance, as envisaged in the syllabus. In order to properly understand Mendel's law of inheritance and the sex-linked inheritance, it is essential to know beforehand some basic aspects of genetics. You will learn about the chromosomes, the genes, and some very common hereditary traits in humans. You can do several investigatory projects if desired. What is genetics? Genetics is the study of transmission of body features, both similarities and differences from parents to offspring and the laws relating to such transmission. Gregor Mendel an Austrian monk and father of genetics. Gregor Mendel, 1822-84, was born in a peasant family. He had his early education in a monastery and later he studied science and mathematics at University of Vienna. Now he wanted to be a teacher, but luck did not favor him and he failed in the examination of teaching certificate. But what he discovered later has made him a teacher of teachers. He had returned to his monastery and spent the rest of his life as an abbot. The monastery had a lovely garden which satisfied his urge to understand some secrets of nature regarding the inheritance of certain features of garden pea. His findings are now called as Mendel's Law of Inheritance. Two Modern Applications of Genetics 1. Genetic Engineering Genetic engineering is the technique in which the genetic constitution of an organism, like bacterium, is altered by introducing new genes into its chromosomes. The genetically modified organism, or GMO, thus produced, is grown to multiply fast and the gene product is obtained in large quantities. The hormone insulin was the first such product. The insulin-producing gene of mammals has been successfully introduced in certain bacteria which have been made to produce it. Genetic Counseling Genetic counseling is yet another practical aspect. Newly married couples are advised to consult a specialist regarding the possibilities of any undesirable trait which their children might inherit. Diseases like haemophilia, that is bleeder's disease with a tendency to bleed freely from even a slight wound, Thalassemia and a sickle cell anemia with defected hemoglobin are examples of genetic diseases which can be prevented to some extent by proper genetic matching of the prospective parents. Heredity The term heredity may be defined as transmission of genetically based characteristics from parents to offspring or the genetic constitution of an individual. Cats produce cats and not dogs. True? A mango seed germinates into a mango tree. Humans give birth only to humans and not to apes. Even the curd bacteria which grow in milk undergo hundreds of generations each day and continue to produce the same type of bacteria and not of any different type. Like begets like and yet the variations. 
All organisms, whether animals, plants or microorganisms, produce their own kind through reproduction. But the offspring are never identical to their parents. Some difference, howsoever small it may be, is found in them. Variations in Population Human beings as a species share many main characters or traits among themselves which identify the species Homo sapiens. Yet the various races or tribes look different in several features. Even within the same race or tribe, the individual members in the population show differences. Further, the smallest unit of population is the family. And there too, members show differences in body features. These small differences among individuals are called variations. The same is true for animals also. We keep pets like dog or cat and domesticate animals like cow or buffalo. There are so many breeds of each one of them and even in the same breed, there are minor differences and variations among individuals. Character and Traits Any inheritable feature is a character. The alternative forms of a character are called traits. Hope that's clear? So let's move ahead. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ह्यूमन क्रोमोसोम्स इनहेरिटेंस इन ह्यूमंस वी इनहेरिट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम आवर पेरेंट्स दैट इज फादर एंड मदर हु इन टर्न हैड इनहेरिटेड देम फ्रॉम देयर पेरेंट्स दस द फैमिली मेंबर्स that is brothers sisters cousins tend to resemble one another here is a list of some such characters and their traits one color of the eyes brown or blue two hair shape curly or straight three eyebrows heavy bushy or thin Four, hair on the middle joint of fingers, growth or no growth. Five, color vision, normal or red green color blindness. Six, tongue rolling, rolling of tongue into U shape when extended out from the mouth or no rolling. Seven, hand use. right-handedness or left-handedness 8 skin color albinism which is total absence of pigment in skin or normal that is light or dark pigment 9 ear lobe free or attached 10 lips thick or thin 11 rh blood group rh positive or rh negative progress check 1 mention if the following statements are true or false first genetics and heredity are the same thing the answer is false second like begets like This applies only to animals. The answer is false. Third, the entire human population shows variations. The answer is true. Two, which of the following in humans are established genetic traits? Tick mark the correct ones in the box provided. First, capacity to be a good cricketer second curly hair third left handedness fourth quality of voice fifth red green color blindness
The correct ones are second, curly hair, fifth, red green color blindness. Chromosomes, the carriers of heredity. You have learned in the previous lesson that chromosomes are only visible when a cell nucleus is about to divide. Photographs of the dividing cell nucleus can be taken through a high power light microscope. These photographs are used for artificially arranging the chromosomes according to their size and shape on a chart, that is, karyotype. One such human karyotype is shown in the figure. Chromosomes in homologous pairs. Once again, look at the above list carefully. In each organism, the chromosomes occur in even numbers. This is so because they always occur in pairs. Thus in humans, the 46 chromosomes are present in 23 pairs. The two chromosomes of each pair are similar in size and shape and are derived as one each from the two parents. These identical chromosome pairs are called homologous chromosomes. Two main categories of chromosomes. In this figure, you would notice that each one of the chromosome pairs numbered 1 to 22 has identical chromosomes and these are categorized as autosomes. But the 23rd pair is different and its chromosomes are called sex chromosomes which are designated as X and Y. The XX pair with similar partners is found in females, whereas the XY pair with dissimilar partners is found in males. The Y chromosome of males is much smaller than the X chromosome. Chromosome number. The chromosome number is constant for the individuals of a species and each body cell has the same number. Humans have 46 chromosomes. Chromosome numbers of some other common animals and plants are as follows. Ascaris, 2. Onion, 16. Maize, 20. Lion, 38. Tiger, also 38. Domestic cat, also 38. Mouse, 40. Humans, 46, Gorilla, 48, Potato, 48, Monkey, 54, Dog, 78, Chicken, 78, Crayfish, 200, Some Insects, More Than 1000. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें